Hi, so I'm here today at Earthig in North Wales. I'm uh, going to be doing a recipe using fresh autumn vegetables and herbs. So if you want to join me, we'll go and have a look. Wow, fantastic. Look at this rosemary. I've already got some sage. Pick that up a minute to go. Uh, I'm going to get some of this rosemary. I'm going to use this in the recipe that I've got planned for today. Great smell coming off this already. We're going to make a chicken and mushroom pie. So we're now in the historic kitchen, a fabulous, really, really, really great space. We're using chicken thigh, rich in flavour. The meat's slightly darker than you're probably used to with the fillet. So we've got mushrooms, onion, garlic to just lift it. We've got some wonderful herbs, which we picked earlier on today in the garden here. This is all going to be brought together with a really rich, creamy sauce. The pastry is slightly different to a regular short crust. There's some chopped herbs through it. And then the binding agent is an egg rather than water. In the 18th century, I think the chefs had plenty of time to wait for coal-fired ovens to get up to temperature. I haven't, so I've moved into this kitchen where there's an electric oven. So we start with the onion. I want it cut reasonably finely. Garlic, we chop it quite finely. Don't want it to fry, we want it to just very slowly sauté and just caramelise and pull some beautiful sweet flavours through. Next, we're going to add the herbs. So these were herbs that we picked fresh from the garden here at Epic. Remove the woody stalk from the rosemary. I'm going to chop it quite fine. So now that the onion and the garlic have sautéed down nicely, we're then going to put that herb in and just start to release those beautiful oils and the flavours from that. So next we're going to add the chicken. To prepare the thigh, we're going to remove the skin. The easy way to remove the bone is just to cut down very gently on each side of it and then just scrape. There we go. And we're just going to cut it into dice. I'll finish the rest and then we're ready to put that into the pan. And then that just wants to be left for about five minutes. While we're waiting for that, we'll just get the mushrooms ready to go in there as well. And we're just going to roughly chop these. Now I'm going to put the mushrooms in. And while that's sautéing, we're going to make the sauce to sort of richen this up, really make it into something a bit more special. So we're going to pan on the hob. I'm going to take some butter. The butter's melted, so we'll add the flour and then just let the heat go through that for about 30 seconds just to cook it and make sure that the butter's all absorbed. And next we're going to add in some chicken stock. So a nice hot chicken stock, plenty of flavour. Give that a really, really good mix. It might go a little lumpy at first, but keep going and keep stirring and it will come together. We want the sauce to be quite thick because what we're going to do is when we add that into the chicken and mushroom mix, there's quite a lot of liquid and flavour that's come out of that as well which then will make it into quite a nice coating sauce. Just got that double cream to put in there. Mix the cream in. Once that's mixed through, we get a really nice light coloured sauce with plenty of flavour. I'm just going to put a little bit of cracked black pepper in and a little bit of salt to season and now that's ready to be mixed into the chicken. I'm giving that a really good stir around. And so that's ready. That's ready now to go into the pies and we'll make the pastry for that. So we start with flour, we've got butter, and then one of the methods that a lot of people seem scared of is rubbing the fat into the flour. So it's a case of breaking the fat into pieces, lift it, and push between finger and thumb. Keep gathering it up from the bottom, running it through your fingers and your thumbs, and what you'll end up with eventually is something that looks like breadcrumbs. Once we've rubbed it in, I'm gonna add in some fresh herbs. So a bit of salt, and then just make a little well in the center. Crack the egg in. I'm now going to start mixing that around with my hands. We don't want to be too heavy with this. We knock all the air out of it that we've worked so hard to put in. If it feels a little dry, we can always add a little bit of milk. We're starting to get the dough forming into a really nice ball. And there we go. So that pastry is now ready to use. I'm now I'm going to use as little pie dishes. And we're going to put the chicken mix in. And just make sure there's a little bit of that sauce left. Because we're going to use that later on when we serve the pies. So I don't want to roll the whole piece of pastry. I just want to roll enough to do each pie. So I'm going to break a small piece off, a little bit of flour, just roll. So I want to end up with around about the thickness of, say, a pound coin. Just sit the pie on the top of the pastry and then just run your knife around. We lay the pastry on the top and then we're just going to crimp it around the edges. A little hole in the middle and so that's now ready to go straight into the oven. Okay, so the chicken and mushroom pie is cooked. We're going to serve it straight on the plate in the bowl. We've got some beautiful creamy mashed potato. Then we've got really good mix of roasted vegetables. Some really, really good autumnal flavours in there. There's parsnip, carrot, mushroom, celery. And then we're just going to finish that off with a little bit of the white sauce, which was the sauce we 
reserved from the chicken filling that goes into the pie. There we go, that's chicken and mushroom pie. It's warming, it's hearty, and uh, looks fabulous. Mm -hmm.